dearest Edward. I hope this letter finds you and your family well, as there have been ghastly stories of an illness encroaching upon the villages. Forgive the delay in my writing you, for I am sure you have already heard, and I'd hoped to tell you myself. Your nectar has made the duties of Queen much more tolerable. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is a position I have never enjoyed. With the help of your nectar, I am able to do my duties with a smile. I've blessed His Majesty and the entire kingdom with two sons. My labor was long and the twins were born small and sickly, though the doctors assured us all that it was normal for twins to be born this way. After much uncertainty, they are now growing strong and proving to us all that they are indeed ordained by God. My recovery from this birth was worse than with my daughters. For some time, I wasn't sure I would survive, but again, your nectar saw me through. I cannot thank you enough, Edward, for blessing me so. The king would like you to visit court again, for he is the only one more thankful for you than I, but I fear the spreading sickness will delay a visit. Please be careful out there right back to assure me your family is well. Graciously, Queen and Windenburg. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge. Finally, we are back here on the Squire Homestead. We have essentially one year until the plague comes by and potentially ruins everything that we have built. And as you saw, Edward has gotten another letter from the queen, which is very exciting. She is crediting him and I'm sure the king is as well for the fact that they now have sons. And she is using Edward's nectar to help her get through everything that is required of her as queen. And she's kind of using Edward's nectar to self-medicate and get herself through what she needs to get through and not knowing at this time the impact that alcohol has on unborn children and things like that but overall it's a positive thing for the squires but now they know that there is an illness spreading around and they don't quite know what to make of that in all actuality they would probably learn about that like towards the end of this year but i obviously wanted to share the letter at the very start of the episode so we are back on the squire homestead and it does look a lot different um the garden i showed you last time we have made it bigger i've also remodeled the entire house so it's looking a lot different if you were on the live i did give a little tour of the house on live stream but let's go ahead and do one very quickly right now as well while everyone is doing their morning chores around here. So now when you walk in, there is a bathroom straight ahead and there is this entryway with all of their work gear and things that they need to complete all their duties every day. And then in here is the first bathroom. Nothing too overly extravagant. There are horses in the house. Um... Apparently, we need to lock them out again. So that's perfect. Awesome. So now when you come this way, um, ignore that there are two horses standing here. But we have a bedroom with one bunk bed, one single bed, three beds in total. We have Runar's little bunny rabbit, which was the first woodworking item that we ever made here on the homestead. So that's exciting. Then over here, we have another bedroom for the littles. We have a crib and two toddler beds. I'm still loving the, you know, mixing and matching that we do around here. I love that for us. Then when you first come in here to the house, you have the kitchen to the right. It did not change much. I did take one of these stoves away but overall it's very much the same however we have changed this so it's no longer the bathroom area now we have an actual sitting area as well as our dining area and then we have another bathroom so through here where we are hanging out for whatever reason is a second bathroom currently there is not a bedroom up or a bathroom upstairs um, but there is the bedroom that was always here. It's just a little bit larger now and there is space for a bathroom. I just have not put it in yet. Um, I did get rid of the fence around the chickens. We still have evil chickens. Don't ask me how that happened. It just did. Okay. Those mysteries, they're just Sims mysteries. Uh, so yeah, we have preparations to do. Um, 
before the plague. We're going to have some birthdays this year and we're going to have a baby born. We are in our third trimester in two hours. So it is coming along. She currently does not look pregnant at all. What? Girl, girl, where's your stomach? <laughs> okay, anyways, we have Faith who is working on learning the loom. She took a break for some breakfast. I had her out here weaving some fabrics. Um, all of these are sellable for like buku buku bucks. All right. Like it's no joke how much these are worth. Um, but I have her trying to get her skill level up for that. And then we can start making blankets for our beds and all kinds of fun stuff. Our primary objective is going to be getting Francis and all of his cousins and other family members and friends all together and make sure that they have relationships. That's our main goal for this episode. I don't want to spend the whole episode on that, however, because this could be the last time that we see some of these Sims and we want to spend some time here with our... Look at that. Our shared spaces are working and this is the perfect opportunity for me to tell you all what I have been meaning to tell you for several episodes now, but Mary would never come around so I couldn't do that. You will notice that Mary is wearing an emerald necklace. The queen did give Edward a emerald. He had it made into a very simple necklace and gave that to Mary as a token of appreciation for all of her help with the nectar. If you remember, before we separated the households, Mary was doing most of the nectar making herself. He just wanted to show her his appreciation. This is now a family heirloom that will be, it will be passed down through the generations. Um, I'm not sure who's going to get it as of right now. We will find out after we know who's left after the plague. Potentially, we could have it go to the wives of the heirs. We will see what all happens with that. So yeah, very exciting. We should have some other babies born during this episode as well. But right now, everyone's just grabbing food. The horse pooped in here. For the love of everything holy, like, honestly, I have no words. So this is an animal shed, but I can't... F oh, there it is. There's the other cow. So we have Mutilda. Or is this the same? And Mufasa. All right. So I did end up... All right, Eric Humes has aged up to an infant, so we're going to have to do a little deathy roll here. Um, we now have two cows. Oh, boy, and Ro Rosalie has gone into labor. Oh, my gosh, I can't even get two seconds. All right, off we go for a bunch of death rolls, I guess. All righty, team, let's go. It's a girl. We are doing kind of classic names for hers. We'll do Elizabeth. I know we have, we're starting to repeat some names at this point, but it's fine. It's, it's a-okay. So will Elizabeth live? One, five, 10, 15, or 20 on the dice. And then for mom, it's going to be one or 10 and she dies. So let's do the baby first. The baby's going to be okay. And what about mother dearest, our sweet, lovely Rosalie? Rosalie's good. So they are both going to live. That's very exciting. And then we had little Eric Humes, who is Edith's little one, aged up to infant. It's 4, 12, 16, or 18 for our infants. So let's roll for Eric. We're all good. That was a good set of rolls. That's exciting. Okay, so until we are interrupted again, let's queue up some more farm things. We're gonna clean the shed. Oh, we got some black eggs. Those are worth a ton of money. Don't ask me how we got evil hens, okay? I'm not even questioning it at this point, you know? Oh, he's here. This is great. They're working. Okay, literally, you guys, I did not do anything except remodel the house, okay? Like, I made sure all my mods are updated. They pretty much all were. Um, got rid of anything that was obsolete that we weren't using. And the shared spaces are working. Look at this. I'm so excited. I wonder if that means travel is going to be better, too, because that would be really nice. Are you sick, bro? He's, uh-oh, the plague is coming. This better not be foreshadowing, all right? 
not really sure if this will help. We're here doing some inspection and some maintenance just to see, like, and make sure everything's going to be good. I feel like I kind of want to expand even more, and I really would like Francis to maybe do some archery, just like Edward. Ooh, bo oh, boy. He gave him his childhood bow, but last time the archery wasn't working. Um, I heard there's an update. I have not added that one in yet. Like, they've added things to that. Um, so I need to do that before the next episode. But if it's working, I would like him to start working on that skill and do that in addition to nectar making as he gets older. Um, so I just, I just realized I don't have the year on the screen. I'm so sorry. That's not cool, man. We are in 1347. We have to send people back to war today. I forgot to mention at the beginning, we're going to do the war towards the end of the year. That's just how I'm going to do it because we do have the plans um, in motion for the things that we want to accomplish today. So let me get the year on the screen. There we go. Now we're in business. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I fail a lot. It's fine. So 1347 ends on Tuesday. Tuesday's the last day of 1347. So I think we'll probably wake up on Tuesday and do the war rolls. Things are indeed going completely haywire around here, aren't they? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's... So I'm going to do a lot of this with MC Command Center, but I am going to take him and we're physically going to go because it's easier for me to add relationships that way if we were like on the same lot as the Sim. So I'm going to let him finish his little task here of cleaning up. It is still the first day of the year. If we can get all of this done and get them together tomorrow, that would be so much fun. Flossie has fully developed her movement skill. Flossie is going to have a birthday. Let's go start this journey. This is going to take some time. Everyone should have had their makeovers. We tried to make sure of that. And here's the problem with using clubs. So I downloaded, I've had installed like the mod that allows you to have more club members, but you still have to complete tasks to get those club members over a certain number. All right. Um, who do you even already know? You do not know him. He's a little old for you. So we had a live stream where we did a bunch of casts yesterday and I kept calling Francis Edward. It was real bad. It was, it was not great. It was set. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a smart person. Okay. All right. Here we go. Go say hello. Bad compatibility with Margaret. The bad thing with doing it this way is they're not going to get a first impression, which is fine. Let's do, let's do some variation. So they'll be good friends. All right, now we need to travel again. Why are my horses here? What the heck? That's just redonkulous. Marv, Marv, ahoy me matey Marv. All right, I don't think I have the patience, guys. I don't think I have the patience. <laughs> so we're doing these relationship. Won't go crazy. We'll do like a variation of the levels. Um, I want to see, however, what his first impression is of the girls. Let's see what he got with her. No first impression. Okay. And I'm just doing this because... At this point, there's too many sims and they would theoretically at least know of each other, you know? And it's just the way this game is that they don't. So we're going to leave again cousin let's do them as like besties i love that idea we'll go true friends there's another little girl here we can meet we'll do it the right way here right it's showing she's not at home at four or five cobblestone street in Hinford on bagley what is she right here Four or five. This is Cobble Bottom Street. All these houses. So where is she? Okay, I guess we will meet her another day because I don't see her anywhere. 
It's weird. I could have probably done this off camera. He's very tired. But I would like to get these accomplished tonight. Why are you just standing there? What are... Why are you just spinning circles? Nia... Nia was not aged up when we did our... when we did our makeovers. Okay, let's do a roll really quickly for Nia. I don't know. So a child is 9 and 19 for the rolls. So Nia is good. I um, quickly do a makeover, I guess. Oh, interesting. I will probably never remember to give you those back. So something befell this little bean. Super pretty. She is gorgeous. The girls. So let's travel one more time. I think one more and we are set. And after we do this, we'll come back in the morning and see what we can get into with him and all of his little cousins. Um, it would take me literally all stinking day. It would take me all, 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 all all day if I had to meet everyone. It's just not realistic, so we're focusing on the kids. Maybe whoever survives the plague at that point. What are you doing over here? At that point, we would be able to make sure everyone knows each other. Kicked me out into the other household. Bro, you need to get in there and use their bathroom. Knock on the door. Francis, where are you going? That's the front door. This is a full house, no doubt. Okay, we're not getting first impressions. I'm not sure what's up with that. Go ahead and introduce yourself to Winter as well. And Wolfgang, we're here. All right, now we know most of our little cousins and our potential girls that are available for marriage in the future. I'm trying not to miss any of the other birthdays that are popping up because it's almost impossible for me to track it manually. So I do rely on that a lot. All right, I'm going to send him home and we, we will come back in the morning and see what we can get into then. It's morning in the Squire house. And would you look at this? The greenest of thumbs. Faith likes gardening. Very cool. All right. Um, let's see what we have going on. Mama bear. Um, they're taking showers here. They don't even have a shower there. So, you know, I don't think. Oh, look at these two. Look at these two. Look at these two. Mama bear. Oh yeah, you are cooking. Okay. Faith, my love, while we are waiting for breakfast, I am going to need you. <sighs> or not. Go ahead and change his diaper. Aw, you're reading to him? Oh my. Everything is a disaster. What are you upset about now, this horse poop? Still can't collect water. Joan reached cooking level 10. Girl. Call to the meal that you put in the flowers. <laughs> That's perfect. She is going to give birth at any time, guys. Will we have another heir or will we have another girl? We are even up right now. We have had two girls and two boys here in this house. Oh my gosh, she's even eating with us. Okay, tell me, how did just renovating the house fix this? How? I don't know. My spidey senses said, renovate the house. And maybe that'll fix things. And look at this. Indeed. Mayday is tomorrow. There's too much going on. This is a really good meal, too. A foul hot pot, man. Unbelievably yummy. Look at this, fam -a -lam. 
we just adore them all. All right, we're going to get little Sir uh, Francis, almost said Edward again, little Sir Francis ready to hang out with his friendos. And yeah, we'll see what we can get up to. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how he... Oh my gosh. Okay, we're not worried about her. We're not going to do death rolls for her. <sighs> oh. Oh, honey. Oh. Wow. All right, perfect. <laughs> All right. So I have started a club. I do fear that my club mod is not working, but... I don't know. We're, maybe this is already more than is typically allowed. I'm not sure. But what I've done, I actually gave them hopscotch, which it just kind of looks like they did this with chalk. It's, it'll work. Um, I also have marbles on here. I need to buy them some marbles though. And then I did like take care of the farm animals and stuff and see if we can get some pointage going, you know? So right now we started with his bestie, Eloise, his cousin, his cousin Charles, and then Marie and Nora, who are two of the available um, potentials for him in the future. And then Marv, who is a potential for some of our other kiddos in the house. I actually have faith, like, cleaning up so much horse poop. It's ridiculous. Did you just ignore me? I thought I told you to pick all these up already, girl. Like, until your queue was full. Francis must wait his turn, but he wants to play with her. Okay, I wonder if archery's on here. Hobbies. We have fabrics. That's unfortunate. I don't know. I would like... I mean, he can watch it, but he can't join it. He must wait his turn. But I want them to play together. What's wrong? Aw. Okay, can you move? I'm sorry to do this to you, but we're not going to stand here all stinking day, okay? Let's play hopscotch together. Yes. Come on, friends. Nice job! <laughs> it's cute, but it does take an awful long time here. Oh, you're in labor! Whoa, hold on, what happened? Oh. Oh, oh, we missed it. Mary, do you got the kids handled for a minute? Thank you for being here. Literally, Mary. Mary. Mary, look at me. I cannot even express to you how glad I am to see you, okay? My heart is so full right now. I, I love you. Thank you so much for showing up. That's just... Beyond grateful. Let's put the kid down here if I can find a spot. Which. Um, um, perhaps not, unfortunately. Um, let's, let's see. Okay. All right. Let's have a freaking baby. Oh my God. The moment of truth. Please, please, please. Dice gods be with us. I just, I have a feeling that Edward is going to war. So I really want this baby to be born and live. And I would really, 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 really like it to be a boy. Um, but I suppose we'll find out. Look how cute dad is. So sweet. Okay, mama bear. Let's go, sweetie. I'm really loving their relationship. The thumbnail for this episode is so cute. I think they're finally... They've come to a place where they love each other. Um, it might not have been a grand romance, but they're definitely vibing nowadays, and I love that. It's a baby boy! 
is the only one? What if it's twins? We are due for twins, guys. We are so due for twins. It's a baby boy. I already have the name figured out. This was a name that was suggested to me, but it was also one that was already in my mind for an F name. Um, I am very sad that we don't have Finn. That was like my number one for the F names, but we're going to go with Fergus. Please be twins. No, it's only one baby, but little Fergus is here. I need both of these guys to live. I need Joan to live. I need Fergus to live. I need the dice to be with me today, okay? It's of just as much importance as it is that Joan get to a bathroom immediately. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's get our dice up. Huxley wrote us a letter. Nice to hear from you, bro. That's awesome. Let's do little Fergus first. This is a little Fergus. A little Fergie for us. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I am so nervous. 1, 5, 10, 15, and 20 for these little guys. <sighs> Are you serious? Okay, okay. Joan. Is Joan going to survive this pregnancy? A 1 or a 10 means death for Joan. I cannot. I cannot. I should not have. Why did I say when she was giving birth that their relationship is finally good? And they're like in love or at least love each other. They might not be in love, but they love each other. I probably jinxed it. Okay. <sighs> oh, God. Thank you, dice gods. Thank you. So Fergus and Joan both are going to live. What? Oh, look at you taking care of yourself, buddy. Uh oh, Joan, 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 Joan. Yeah, are you all right? Can you come feed Fergus? Fergus is something. It's a name that I've liked since Outlander. Um, I I don't know. It's just a really cool name. I feel like. Okay, we have three boys going into the plague. All right. And I'm not opposed to having these two woohoo before he goes off to war if he does. We've discussed before that he might go even if he doesn't roll it, but we haven't decided anything for sure. Look at Mary. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I am so happy that this is all working. Oh, you guys, I cannot express my relief right now. Oh, it's perfect. You're all not over here playing though. Go goof around with Mary for a minute. It's been so good to see her. Like, ridiculously good to see her. Hey, where are you going? Oh, she's so sad for some reason. What's wrong? Oh, they have Christmas lights up. Who did that? Was that you? Okay, go pee. Come on. Flossie's birthday tomorrow. So we will probably do Flossie's birthday tomorrow. All right. We actually need to see how he how he gets along with Nora and Marie. Are you going to join? You better join. I swear to you. Get over here and join these girls. They're, my Sims have all been aging up with the most annoying high-pitched voices. The kids. I don't know. I don't know what is up with that, but... I gotta be real with you, I don't even know how to play marbles. When I was growing up, marbles was, it was kind of a big thing. Like, my uncle and stuff played it. Um, but I don't know anything about it. It's honestly, it's nothing that we can get too fussed over right now. Obviously, we have to see who survives the plague. But I definitely wanted him to have relationships with some people before we kind of get into all of that. Um, we are going to stream the plague death rolls it's going to be on a saturday let's say saturday march 9th at 2 p.m eastern time um i will post in the community tab like any final say but for right now let's say that all right it is 5 p.m um hopefully our baby is good in here there's a, there's a lot oh sweet there's a lot happening 
We literally don't have anyone for Faith in mind either. But I'm I'm not. By the way, she went from a preteen to a teen. So, yeah, that happened off camera. What are you stuck with in your hand? Still having bugs. No. No. Stop it. <laughs> Do not put clothes in there. It's dirty water. Did everyone help take care of the animals? Because we really are like in dire straits right now. No. Look at this. Can you please do something? This is Curdle, by the way. Looks very much like Swampy, but that is Curdle. Swampy is in our series that we live stream. We just picked up all of this. It's good to hear your voice. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know all of Tinker. I don't care. We just picked up poop. Like, <laughs> I'm just curious if she's not listening because, yeah. How many poops do you have? No, she has nine poops. Oh, shoot. She really has to pee. She's not going to be able to grab those. All we do is pick up poop. It's, 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 <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of poop. All right. I think we can end the gathering now. We had a little bit of fun. We had a good time. We did not get enough club points, I don't think, to make changes. Okay. Upgrade one. Okay, who should we add? Oh, I'd Nia. Okay, everyone. You can head home. Joan, did you finish? Joan, Joan. Okay, good. Call to meal. Edward, honey. All right, having a family dinner. Who are you? Get out of my house. Mama Bear, you're you're full. Shouldn't she like have super baby care by now? Give him the boob. Give him the boob, girl. Alright, how are you doing? Oh, stop. Build a tower. Oh, honey, honey. Come and eat this. Oh, boy. Okay, it's too many Sims again. It's t I'm not going to complain. I am not going to complain because we don't want them to die. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right. We are going to wake up in the morning. We're going to have Flossie's birthday. And then I guess we're going to figure out who's going off to war. So that's fun. Um, so anyone that leaves, it very much could be the last time these Sims see that person because they could die of the plague while they are gone or they could die as a result of war. So yeah, I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess, if Edward's going and then you can let me know down in the comments below, like if he doesn't end up going, I guess we'll talk about that if it happens. Um, I'm going to put all these kiddos to bed. We are going to come back and do Flossie's birthday probably first thing in the morning. Oakley doakley, it's 6 38 a.m. in the Squire household now. I have Faith making breakfast. Joan went foraging. We we really need to make flour. So that was my thinking there. I did have Joan and Edward woohoo this morning, but I looked and she's not pregnant. It was worth a shot, you know? Our kiddos were having nightmares all night. It was a very good time, let me assure you. Um, but Miss Girl is gonna get some cooking skill here and we did we roll to see even have kids why do I not remember hmm. why can't I take care of you this happened before okay now we can access both our cows but I can't do anything with them I can't clean them it's a very cute cow Now, with Mufasa, I really can't do anything. I can't clean. 
Can you come do this really quick? Can you clean the shed? And refill the feed? And then go pee. You had your fruit salad, it looks like. That's good. Those two are hungry, but they need to sleep for a minute longer. And when you're done with the cows, you can grab your brekkie. Girl, now that you're done with that, you want to take care of your little brother? She's stuck like that again. Isabel Stringfellow has gone into labor. Oh, wow. It just doesn't stop, does it? Okay. Isabel has gone into labor, so we need to click cancel for automatic delivery. It is a boy. Okay. Let me get everything here. Well, let's name it first, should we? Let's do a Randall um, for the grand... For what would be the grandfather of this little one. Okay, one baby boy. So for Randall, 1, 5, 10, 15, or 20 on the dice. He's going to pass away. What about Isabel? Isabel's okay, but the baby has died. And now let me look because I think that was it for him. That was it. All he has, all he's going to feel like. The only child Felix is going to have is Regina. She's currently a child. So that's unfortunate. I'm not even going to let you eat because it's going to be so much easier to take care of all of your needs. Although I really don't want you to die like this. <laughs> if you die, she woke up very sad. She's miserable. She's a pee. She's starving. <laughs> Away we go, man. Away we go. <laughs> We are aging her up into a child today. She's about to eat something rotten out of her inventory, so that's awesome. Sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. A generous donation to charity? No. Oh, is your sissy coming for moral support? She's been walking around with that accessory her whole toddlerhood when she's in her nighty. Flossy is squeamish. <laughs> Perfect. Hi, Floss. All right, you know the drill. We're going to see if you're even going to freaking live. Look at that hair. Dang, girl. All right, let's find out <laughs> if she's even going to survive. So for children, it's 9 or 19. Good. So for now, we are in business. Let's go ahead and give her her makeover. Okay, loves, there she is. She is quite cute. Um, definitely losing a little bit of the squire jawline and chin, but she is very adorable. I'm very excited to see her as a teen. I'm so excited that she has lived. Um, let's let her take care of herself a little bit. Oh, girl, what are you doing? Are there any, like... Okay, so we're going to need a teen boy for her, too. During the live stream, we talked about Ade, and we needed a girl for him. If you want to upload Sims... Whoa, holy shiz. If you want to upload anyone for Miss Faith to possibly marry, then that would be awesome. I think now... Um, I want to make sure she's... She still looks short. Girl, why won't you shower is the thing I'm not comprehending right now. Like, there are plenty of opportunities for ways to shower. And I'm not entirely sure why you're not. Okay. Ignore the dead plants. Okay. We can't weed them. I am not letting them actually die. We're going to reset them. The garden is bugged. Um, unless it's changed. No. I can't do anything. So they're all dying. <sighs> And this is why recording takes so long. It's so bad. So we're going to tackle this garden um, and get attacked by our bees. That's fine. Oh, he's getting it too. Well, I suppose we could age up this little bean. Yep. Thank you for the reminder. Uh-oh. Why is her... Why is she... You're not pregnant. I looked. Don't be freaking me out like that. I think she's going to get done before he does. Oh, 
I Guys, how did the baby move? How, how is the baby in the middle of the kids room? I literally did not touch this this child. I am so freaking confused. Just go age him up because I can't take it any longer. Burgess. Cautious. Redhead. Finally. Oh, and he's got long hair and a birthmark and he's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, I don't want to do this. Infants are 4, 12, 16, and 18, guys. So 4, 12, 16, and 18 for little Fergus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How is this? Okay, I, again, we are not asking questions at all. Fergus is going to live for now. I'm going to do one more stinking makeover. Um, <laughs> If you're wondering what is why it takes me so long to get episodes done, but listen, guys, okay, this is kind of a special case because we have the war and everything we have to do, and we have a lot of catching up to do, and then of course there was more time in between because my game wasn't working. Um, the fact that it is functioning now, we should be able to pick up and really play, especially after the plague when a lot of Sims die. Um, it's going to make management easier overall. We won't have as many birthdays and rolls and all of that to do. So I'm kind of looking forward to that in a way. We're, we're getting a refresh, a fresh start. And it feels so good that Mary has been around and stuff. Like, oh, it's just incredible. All right, we'll be right back. Oh, boy, team. I am getting old school Edward's generation. It looks just like Edward when he was born looks like Edward's previous siblings who all passed away. This is Folk and Lassie vibes right here. That whole generation, the hair that I ended up giving him. So that's the longest hair that I have without using one of EA's hairs. And none of those are really good. So that is why he's got that hair. But it's a throwback. He's, he's pulling off those jeans. I can't believe we've had such good luck with our roles. That is, where is he? Oh, <laughs> just appeared. Uh -huh. All right, we got to go talk to our dad, I guess. But of course, oh my God, what is this? What is this? We don't want this in our lives. All right, we don't want to have this in our lives right now. We can't have this in our lives right now. Mary, hello. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if we do maintenance on the shared spaces. Maybe that will help. Yeah, he's still having difficult feelings about poor Faith. The poor girl. Yeah, we didn't have an interest for her, right? Please, by all means, tell me if, if you know of something that I've screwed up there. Because I don't recall that we have set her on any path. I don't even know if we rolled for her. I need to refresh my memory on that one in particular. I'm getting last exceptions out my ears right now. Still cannot clean this dang cow. We might be replacing Mufasa just to get the option to clean. Cause we can clean this one. When we click everything's here, it's like this is bugged. And I can't. Maybe if we send her in and pull her back out. Sorry, Mufasa. I don't know what to tell you. You're broken. I can't. I can't. All right. Let's send you hunting. Can you? You probably can't hunt, can you? No. Can you do archery now? No. I don't get that. He has the bow. Like, everything's, like, really bugged. Now we can. Look at that. <laughs> don't, don't even, you know, like, don't, don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. You know what I mean? Like, just redonkulous, you know? It's awful. So we are slacking on these horses too, man. Like, they do be giving us poop though. 
Don't be doing homework. No, that's dumb. There, go play with the horses. I'm sorry, girl. Try again. Look at all the poop again. Definitely our better trained horse, you know? Please beg her to allow you to ride her. <laughs> Did you ask? Well, her dad tried to teach her how to ride. Um, it's not going well. But I think we're going to finish up this day. Um, Jonah had a nightmare about being watched silently by a very creepy doll. Interesting. All right. We're going to put all these guys to bed. Get them all settled in for the eve. And then we will come back and do all of our roles to see who is going to war in the morning. And from there, we'll kind of have a little bit of an idea what's going to happen next. Um, there's going to be a lot of management with me moving everyone out. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be plague time, guys. This has been a long one for me. I will try to condense it down when I edit it. But if it does end up being a longer video, I do sincerely apologize. There is just a lot happening in this one. And I'm doing my best we will be keeping a record, of course, of who's going to war. We'll take a like a comparison of who went last time and all of that fun stuff. We're going to find out if Edward is going. Um, he's still hunting. She likes horseback riding. Yay. He's still out hunting. He's almost done. Let's just see really quickly. He did good. He's happy. Uh -huh. Wow. He got a wild boar, a pigeon. A duck. Nice job, bud. I am so proud of you. Oh, we have so much inventory management to do also. Like, seven? Twelve hundred simoleons. Like, what actually? We have a hatchable. There's so much. I'm going to put these in whole. I did discover that you could do that. In our other challenge, I have actually always been cutting the meat. Wow, that's the first time I've sold, told someone to ride home and they've actually listened. All right, on to the rolls for war. Okay, team. It's 11.36 a.m. on the last day of the year. We are rolling to see who is going to war. I have started with Edward. I don't know if this was a good idea or not, but we are going to start and find out if our... Sir Edward here is going to finally get to go off to war and impress the king or not. Let's just see what happens. So it's a D4 that we roll. And if they roll a four, they go to war. So for Edward, ready? This is for Edward. He's not. Okay, so let me know in the comments down below. Do you think he would go anyway? I'm leaning towards yes. Let me know in the comments down below what you think we should do about that. Or should we just wait until after the plague so that he can have this last year here at home? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Maybe we'll do a poll as well. Okay, so now we have to go to manage worlds and yeah, see who else I'm going to have to move around. Let's go. So the string fellows, we have Randall, who is an elder. We have Radcliffe. So let's roll to see if Radcliffe is going to war. No, Radcliffe is not going to war. Felix? No. Interesting. Okay, that's all of them. Um, if no more teens. Mary and Folk are good. Folk's an elder. Um, all right, so Huxley. Huxley and Haywood. Haywood? What the heck? Okay, Huxley. Huxley is going back to war. I believe he went the first time as well. 
No, he didn't. Huxley did not go the first time. So Huxley is going. Um, this is Florence's brother or dad. Um, let's just, I guess, see if he goes. Doesn't really play a role, but he's not going. Okay. Next. Oh, boy. We have Henry. Is Henry going to go? Henry's going to go. Oh, no, not Henry. Henry Wainwright is going to war. Oh, boy. Okay. What about his firstborn, Nathaniel? Is Nathaniel off to war? He is. Oh, no. Nathaniel. Okay, that does it for that house. Is that everyone here? Because we don't have teens. All right, so it is off to Windenburg. Sawyer. Is Sawyer back off to war? No, Sawyer's not going this time. And we have his sons. Kofi. Is Kofi going to war? No. What about our lovely Ade? I'm scared. Oh, no. <laughs> so I guess we're not getting him married right away. Crap. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> that bums me out quite significantly, I have to say. All right. Elwine. Elwine is not... Rufus. No. Rufus's firstborn Reese. No. Okay, that's everyone there. Oh, wait. We do need to run. I nearly forgot we have to go to Glimmer Brook. We do have these guys. Um, elders, but they're adopted sons. William. No. Felipe? Okay. I feel like... That was very anticlimactic. Last time we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sims that went. We have half. We have five. I guess one good thing that we do have going for us right now that helped us out here is that our heir is only a child right now. So our heir and our spares only have to go through the plague death rolls next year. We don't also have the war issue hanging over our heads for them. Not right now, anyways. I did miss Linton. Okay, so this is going to be for Linton, which is Edith's husband. Linton's going to go. So we have six Sims going. I knew I was forgetting someone. So we have six Sims who are going off to war. We have the friendos all over helping us love on the animals, our evil hens, you know. This is honestly the only way that these guys are going to get any attention. Because, yeah, we don't have time to be giving them attention. Curdle Cloud and Sandy. She didn't do anything I asked her to do. None of it. She ignored me for all of it. See if that actually works. I'm going to keep my eye on you, girl. The bugs are not all gone. Yeah, pick them all up and then we're going to cook a good meal. Yes, look at this. Oh, they can finally eat well again. Let's do a rabbit pie. That sounds good. Oh my god, he is so, such a throwback. No, so, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Embla, Sawyer, and Mare. For our elders, what we do is we roll a d20. And if they roll 13, 15, or 19, they die right there. If they don't, then we roll a d20 to find out how many years they actually have left. While these guys are cooking, let's roll a d20 for Sawyer. No! No, he dies! Oh my god, okay. Embla, I don't really care, but... Someone like Embla gets to live. And Sawyer gets to die, to die young. 
He's 42. He had one more kid, too, to have. You know what? They have one more kid. We're gonna make her pregnant. We decided that we were gonna wait. We're gonna do it now, and we're gonna do it random. Okay, it's a girl. All right. Uh, at least her... His wife is gonna be here. Because I'm gonna do it here. He's not gonna come, is he? I have to teleport him. Oh my god. Not you, buddy. Not you, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I don't want to leave the house while she's cooking, but I feel like Folk needs to give him a hug. Sawyer is like so broke. He never comes when you invite him anywhere. In the presence of evil. Oh my god, everyone's gone. The, the, no. No, no, no. This was working. This was working. No. No. Where is everybody? Actually? No. Look at this. He won't go. Oh, he's here. What? What? Okay, so the shared spaces are not working in this direction. So that's just... Everyone else disappeared out of this house. It could be... Now, hear me out. Could be the number of sims in the house. Because we have such a large household. This is the most important sim, I think, that needs to see him anyway. I wonder if they would stay if I go back to the other house. Yay! We are all here. Yeah, I wonder why the lot won't show all the sims. Could it be that I have a group gathering with 40 children and a house of 30 dozen people? <laughs> Could that have something to do with it? I don't know. I'm just spitballing here, you know? No. <sighs> Panda, smirch, wall of that zone. Bye, Sawyer. All right, guys, on this note, we are ending this year. Um, please keep an eye on the community tab as to when we're going to do our live stream for the plague death rolls. And there will be a lot more where this came from with Grim Reaper and death. So rest in peace to Sawyer Squire. He had a good run. He built an amazing family. He was a good father. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the live stream. Um, yeah, I'm terrified, but it'll be good to do it with all of you instead of doing it on my own. I appreciate you all. Um, until then, I will see you in the comments. Bye.